Hey everyone, it's Dave here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Node-RED in Home Assistant and configure the Alexa node so you can broadcast announcements to your Amazon Echo devices. All right, let's jump into Home Assist. The first thing we're going to need to do is install Node-RED. So we're going to go to Settings, scroll down to Add-ons, then we're going to go to Add-on Store, and then do a search for Node-RED. Click on that, and then we're going to click Install. This will take a few minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video and resume in a second. Once that's installed, make sure Start on Boot is checked. Make sure Watchdog is checked. That basically just restarts if it crashes. And then just for ease of use, show in sidebar, have that checked as well so you can see it here. And another setting I have unchecked is SSL, because if I start it now and you go through the logs in a second, you're gonna see an error message where it's gonna mention about SSL. So you'll see here, it's got this error message that comes up. So that's gonna fail. So what you'll want to do is go to configuration, uncheck that, and then just hit save. And then you can start it again. It may take a few attempts just for it to kick in. So I'm now gonna click start, wait for it to start. And I'm just gonna open the web UI just to make sure that it's working. And you can see I'm now able to get to the Node-RED interface, so we know that's installed correctly. Now that we've installed Node-RED in Home Assistant, let's open it up and get started with adding the Alexa node. So we're gonna click on Node-RED. Click on the three horizontal lines and click Manage Palette. Go to the Install tab and if you just do a search for Alexa Remote 2, I'm just pasting in the exact wording, and this is the one you want, this version 2. Click Install. Click Install again. and then close. Now if you go to filter nodes and search for Alexa, the one you want is Alexa routine. Double click on that. Then you're gonna click the plus icon to add your account. Give it a name. Now some of these settings are different depending on your location. Here's the settings you can get from this link, which are these. Because I'm based in the UK, I'm going to use the UK settings. So I'm just gonna change these three parts. Now where it says file path, this is really important that you make it say or file. If you leave that blank, when you do sign in, every time you refresh the nodes, it's gonna keep prompting to sign in again each time. So if you add that into there, that will solve that problem. Another issue I have is if this says local host, I get stuck trying to sign in. I'm going to show you what happens. This might be because I'm running off a VM. So I'm just going to click deploy. And now I'm going to go to this web page. And you'll see for some reason I'm just stuck in this using a QR code opposed to it's asking for my actual credentials. If you experience this same problem, the only way I can get it to work is you go back into here, go to settings, and change local host to the actual IP address of your Home Assist. Click Update. Done. 
deploy. Now it's um, referencing the IP. This may fail the first time. You might have to give it about 30 seconds. So I'm just going to see what happens. So yeah, we've still got the same thing. But if I just try again, what I'm expecting now is it's actually prompting for signing details. So that looks promising. So now I'm going to do continue. I'm going to put in my password. And then it's going to ask for a one-time code which I'm just getting from my phone and then sign in and this is what you want to see it's now showing Alexa cookies successfully retrieved which is exactly what you want so you can close that tab and now it says ready now for the final part I'm just going to create a very quick sample process flow just to make sure that announcements are being broadcasted to my Alexa device. So from filter nodes, just do a search for inject. And then you're going to drag that here and join that to that node. And then you're going to go into this routine speak, leave that as speak, leave that as regular, and then select the appropriate Amazon device. I've got an Amazon spot next to me. And then you're just going to copy a piece of text into here and then click done. So I'm going to do that, deploy the node, and now I'm just going to hit the inject button and I'm just going to make sure it's working. Dave, your YouTube videos suck. That sounds about accurate. And uh, there we are, all done. So there you are, you successfully installed Node Red and configured the Alexa node so you can get your Amazon Echo devices to speak. If you found that video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe to receive more smart home automation tutorials.